Good morning everyone. In the previous lesson we discussed the paraphrases, explanation, word meanings, literary devices of the poem. Now it's the time to discuss question answers and some of the extracts. So let's get ready and let's start by doing some of the question answers from the poem. Let's start with the questions from the textbook itself. Here is the first question. Read the poem again and work in pairs or group to do the following tasks. This is a pair activity, fun. All the words about the tiger being in cage and the tiger being in wild we have read in the poem and understood well. So it will be very easy for us to do. For your help, the answer has already been provided. Let's come to the next part. This is again the same thing. Clearly has been shown to us. What are the words that refer to when the tiger was in cage and what are the words that refer to when the tiger was in wild? Now some long questions. Notice the use of a word repeated in lines such as these on pads of velvet quiet and in his quiet rage and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant star. So why the words have been repeated? What, what do you think is the effect of this repetition? So here you find the answer read the answer well try to understand it and then note it down in your notebooks another long question do you agree that wild animals should be caged comment yes or no giving reasons think about it first of all this is one simple answer for your help there can always be various ways to write down this answer according to what you feel Then we have some extracts, for example, there, there may be many, but for your help I have given you a few. Like, for example, let's read this, but he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. Who is he in the poem? We know it. He here refers to a tiger. Why is he ignoring visitors? He is ignoring the visitors because he is angry. Here, stalking means pacing up and down, walking slowly. Where is the tiger locked? In a concrete cell. Similarly, we can have this extract. You should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass. The tiger is moving through. So you have the answer, long grass. The tiger lies in wait near the water hole. What for? For a fat deer. The word plump shows the deer is referred to as plump. Plump means fat. So if you wish, you can write down plump also. If you wish, you can write down the synonym to plump also. Name the poet. So you should be knowing by now. You have to remember, memorize all the names of the poets. Leslie Norris. Thank you very much. Keep learning. Keep doing your work.